In this video, we're going to learn while loops. So what do we need while loops for? Uh, we're going to use uh, while loops to uh, execute a piece of code as far as a certain condition is uh, true. So, so let's um, uh, create an example. Let's write a piece of code. So for example, we want to add to the uh, JavaScript paragraph a number, you know, using a variable. So you're just going to use the uh, get elements by ID uh, method and we're going to refer to my paragraph and access the inner HTML and add the um, line break first and the uh, variable. So we will need to uh, declare this variable here. So var i, and we can set it to zero for now. So let's say we would like to uh, run this piece of code as far as i is less than five. So we're going to need to uh, use a while loop. So the syntax is pretty easy. We need the uh, keyword while, and then between parentheses, we're going to put the condition. And after that, the piece of code is going to be uh, between uh, curly brackets. So uh, the condition could be um, i is less than 5, for example. Okay, so if we run this, what's going to happen is that the condition is going to be tested, and then we will run the code every time the condition is uh, true. So at the beginning, i is equal to 0. We're going to run the code, and we're going to add 0 to the uh, paragraph. And then if we test again, i is still equal to 0. So um, nothing has changed. And then we're going to keep running this code um, in an endless way. And then the browser is going to crash. So we definitely need something in the code to change i. So we're going to add uh, or increase i by 1 every time we run this piece of code. And now we are sure that the condition at some point uh, is going to be false. And then we uh, are, are going to stop the loop. Okay, so let's try this and see. So it is working. So it's uh, uh, it's kept working from 0 to 4, but once uh, i is equal to 5, uh, the uh, uh, code is not executed. All right, so that's how uh, while loops uh, work. So now we're going to create a simple game. Uh, basically, we're going to have a balance of $1,000, and we're going to go to a store and... Uh, randomly pick items from the store between uh, with a price between zero and a hundred dollars and we're going to keep buying items until our balance is zero and we are interested to see what's uh, what's uh, what's going to happen how many items we, we're going to buy and also what happens to our balance every time we buy an item so we're going to define a variable balance and we're going to set it to one thousand uh, dollars then we need another variable. Uh, this one is items uh, bought. Okay, so this is referring to how many items we have uh, bought so far. So at the beginning, it's going to be zero. All right. And now we're going to run uh, a loop, and the condition of the loop is going to be um, our balance needs to be positive. So, so while our balance is uh, positive then inside this code we're going to buy stuff and then we're going to change uh, the balance and change the number of items bought and also we will uh, display something in here okay so first of all we're going to need a, a second um, paragraph okay and we're going to say current okay current balance is $1,000 at the beginning. Okay, now let's give it an ID balance. Okay, so while the balance is positive, we're going to pick up an item from the store with a price between 0 and 100. So we're going to define a variable item price. And we want something between 0 and 100. So first we're going to use the uh, math uh, method random. So this will return something between 0 and 1. 
we want something between 0 and 100, so we're going to multiply this by 100. But we need a whole number. So we're just going to copy this and put it in the uh, parameter of another function. So it's going to be math floor. So this method takes this number and change it to a whole number. Okay? All right. Also, inside the uh, loop, we would like to... Okay, so, so now we've got a, a price. So we've got something between 0 and 100 pounds, 100 dollars, but we don't know, we don't know whether uh, we are capable of buying that because we don't know if our balance uh, is uh, sufficient or not. So we're going to need to test whether the item price is within our balance. Okay. So if that's verified, then the number of items bought is going to increase by one because we're buying the item. And also our balance is going to be reduced by the item price. Okay. And also, just to uh, to know what's going on, we're going to add to the um, uh, balance paragraph. We're going to add some text showing the item price and the new balance. So we're going to use the get elements by ID uh, method, and we are accessing the inner HTML of the um, paragraph with ID balance, and we're adding. We're adding a paragraph. Okay. So we're just going to say purchase amount in dollars. And we're going to need the uh, variable item price for this. Okay. Followed by a full stop. And then new balance in dollars as well. And we need the variable balance and then a full stop and close paragraph okay okay so let's try this so our current balance is $1000 so we've got an error in line 26 Looks like you've got an extra bracket. So let's try again. Looks like we made a mistake here. So it's plus equal. So we see now. Okay, now it's working. So we can see that um, at the beginning we've got our original paragraph and we added uh, these lines as, we, as we're going through. So the first one, first item, item's price was $73 and our new balance went down, down, down until the new balance is zero. Okay. Uh, we can add a, a a button just before the paragraph so that once we click on the button the uh, code is ex executed so let's uh, let's do that so let just create a button there start and we need the on click property okay and now we're going to need to use a function so we're going to call it initiate game and then we're going to uh, define a function here and put all our code inside the function. Initiate game. Okay. Okay, so now it's, it's working. Once we click on the button, uh, the uh, code is executed. Also, we can uh, add something at the end. So we can add something to the paragraph showing uh, the number of items that we bought so you can just say document get elements by id balance and we're adding to the uh, inner html a new paragraph you bought so you know uh, the number of items so items uh, bought plus items 
and we close the paragraph. All right. Okay, let's try it now. Okay, we are an extra curly bracket there. Now it's working and we can see that at the end, we can see how many items we have bought. So 28 items. Let's refresh the page and run again. 36 items, okay.